Hello, Pastor Luke and uh, everybody else. Look, brother, um, I'm actually recording this uh, on Saturday, which is the day of your birthday. Uh, so happy birthday. Uh, Julia Coombs had the uh, great, brilliant idea um, that I uh, record a message for you and a prayer over your life. And I felt uh, tremendously honored and excited and uh, it took me no time to say yes of course I'll do it uh, so a good idea Julia and uh, as I just said it's it's an honor to to be here talking to you Luke and uh, all of uh, our other friends from the Delco uh, small group and uh, uh, yeah, I'm excited that you're going to be here in this. Uh, you and uh, all of our other friends from, from the Delco uh, small group. Well, you guys were uh, in a time in my life when I was uh, walking through a desert. You guys were uh, mana and quail uh, that got sent from heaven. And uh, I will never forget that. Uh, I love you very, very dearly. Um, Luke, uh, your your life has impacted my life. Uh, I remember one of those times uh, when we met in the basement of your house. Uh, you were showing me the desk that your company had given you so that you could work some days from home. And you were telling me about the work that you, you, you did for that company in biology. And at the time I was pursuing a, a PhD in computational biology. And, I, and I, I remember I got this excitement about you working in biology. And I was getting very into it and the science of it. Uh, and then, and then I, I started to get, maybe you don't remember this. I remember it very well. I started to get excited about talking about biology and so were you. But at some point you told me, however, I know this is not my calling. I know I'm, I'm going to be serving the Lord and I'm going to be um, a full-time minister. And uh, I was, that, that sounded kind of shocking to me because I was here immersed doing a, a PhD in computational biology that took so much energy and focus from me. And, and there you were saying, well, I do like this, uh, but, but this is not... Uh, my calling. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna go. To. I'm gonna go all out. Uh, to. To serve the Lord. And. And. That was. Like that. Started in me a huge sense of of admiration, and and added respect. Uh, for you. And then to see you pursuing that with the devotion that 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 you did it, and how. Your your, how your your passion led you to that uh, Chengdu mission trip that I'm, I'm sure it revolutionized your life. Uh, it, it was awesome for me to, to be a witness to, 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 to the process that took you uh, through making the decision to go full-time for serving, uh, to go full-time to serve the Lord and actually making that transition. The, 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 the the mission reports that you sent uh, while you were in Chengdu. Uh, I mean, whenever you would send a report, uh, I would wait until I have a good chunk of time to, to, to relax and read them and read them slowly with a good cup of coffee next to me because they were, they were such a blessing to me to see a man living the realities of being out in the mission field with 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 people that have that have not heard anything that has to do with the teachings of Christ uh, for their entire lives uh, and, and, and an evangelical message that is so foreign to them and then the fact that you had to speak uh, make your reports in code like talking about the Grand Master and the book and uh, um, yeah I, I, I remember I memorized the vocabulary and when I was reading those reports 
it felt in a way like uh, you were the apostle uh, John writing the book of Revelation, which had to be written in code. And, and it made me feel that I was being part of, 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 of the real church that, 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 that grows, that the Lord invests himself in it, uh, one that needs people to risk their lives uh, for the growth of it. And then, and then yeah, dur during that time, if I had a good bunch of respect for you, it, it just went skyrocketing. I felt like this man is, is seeing something that is going to explode. Uh, the, the, the gospel in China is going to explode in the next 20 years. Uh, we're going to see that, that the Lord takes China for himself. And, and you're going to be telling your kids and your grandkids, uh, I was part of the beginning of that. Uh, so uh, I commend you for, for, for what you have done with your life. Uh, you are a source of inspiration. Uh, it's, it's awesome to see what, what the Lord has taken you through and, and, and that beauty in you, that purity, that holiness that is in you that has taken you to take risks uh, for the gospel. And it's a blessing to, 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 to be able to tell you, you are an example to follow. Uh, the, the, the 30 years of life that you have just completed have been well lived and, and the best is, is yet to come. Um, so with that, uh, I'm going to say a prayer uh, for you. Um, and uh, I'm going to ask uh, our friends that are around you to, to, come, to come close to you. And, and uh, if possible, I would like for some of them uh, to, to lay hands uh, over you. And uh, it's a blessing for me to be saying this prayer. So um, here we go. <sighs> My Lord Jesus, uh, today is, is Luke's birthday. And uh, you are the first one who woke up this morning thinking of, of, of Luke. Uh, this man is your servant. This man, you've chosen him from, from even from when he was in the womb of, of his mother. And uh, I can sense the, the, the joy that is in your soul, my Lord, today because it's Luke's birthday. So uh, I want to come in agreement with you, Lord Jesus Christ, and uh, bless the life of Luke. Thank you for... For the 30 years that uh, have passed, for well-lived uh, 30 years, for those years that you gave him uh, to hear your voice and to recognize your voice, uh, I want to bless what you have done with his life uh, through all the stages of his life, from when he was a kid, a teenager, college student, he became a man and he always knew that he was going to come to this point where he was going to be serving you with all that he has and with all that uh, he is. I thank you, my Lord, for uh, the work that you have done through him, for your church, for your message, for your life that you give to the world. But I ask you, my Lord, that, that in what is to come in the many more decades that uh, Luke is going to live, on earth, I ask that you continue to multiply uh, the work of his hands. I bless his body. I bless every single cell of his body with the life of Christ, with the life of uh, the Holy Spirit. I ask my Lord that if he has heard your voice and your guidance for his life well up until this point, I ask for a multiplication in the clarity with which he's able to hear your good advice, hear your encouragement. I ask my Lord that you multiply his being able to sense that you are around him and that he is safe because you are always protecting him. You are his safe place. You are his rock. And in the years to come, he's going to continue to flourish and to emanate the light that you have given to him. 
I praise you, my Lord, for this life. I ask for, for this is something that I have been receiving very specifically from the Lord in the past two weeks, and uh, it's it's been it's been beautiful for me to receive it. So uh, I want to give it to 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 Luke, and it's my Lord. Uh, you've been speaking to me about the gift of focus, about the gift of self-control. I've been learning how self-control is not a negative thing. Self-control self -control is not a thing of having more willpower so that I can do uh, uh, 100 uh, uh, push-ups a day uh, or how self-control is not something in which I uh, repress my desire to eat a good meal. Self-control is, is more of a positive thing. Self-control... Is, is being able to have clear in our minds that we are running a race uh, which end is the Lord Jesus Christ who is at the end of the race with her, his arms open ready to receive us, ready to express the delight that he, that he has in us. My Lord, you are at the end of the race that Luke is running in this, in this moment in his life. So I ask for that gift of focus that in all his difficulties he be able to see he would be able to see that you are at the end that your arms are wide open that he does not need to distract himself with the obstacles and the distractions that are on the road that he be able to have self control to see the crown that he is going to receive which is not a crown of thorns but it's a crown of victory, the crown, the crown of thorns that he and I deserved. My Lord, you already took care of that one. So uh, that's your gift, look, from the Lord. Um, the victory that he gained for you, that he, he won for you uh, is yours. You are free to get obsessed and to get madly in love uh, with your Lord Jesus Christ. He is the source of all your joy. He is the one cutting the cake for you today. He is the one you are free in. You find freedom for your life in Him. And I declare that uh, you are free to be closer and closer and closer to Him. That's the calling for the next 100 years of your life. We'll see what happens uh, after that. I bless your life, Luke, in the name of Christ. Um, I love you, brother. Happy birthday again. My life is going well. Uh, I'm still in New York. Uh, my wife is doing well. Um, we're expecting a baby. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be a girl, and uh, yeah, she's going to be born if things go well, and I know things will go well in uh, July. So it's going to be a summer baby girl, and uh, we couldn't be more excited, and uh, I'm, I'm excited to be sharing this with you and with uh, our other friends who are with you uh, in this moment. So look, mm, he's... He's, uh, yeah, uh, I love you. Uh, I send you a kiss, Mwah. put it in your cheek, um, and also a kiss for all my other friends who are there. Mwah. I love you guys. Uh, if you happen to come to New York one of these days, please come see me. I'd love to see any of you guys. And if I happen to go to PA or Delaware, I'll let you know. Uh, enjoy your time. I love you guys. Bye.